ready to my carbon today according to the black beauty tv guys <laughs> Lambruski, Lambroska, Fire Burn them. Welcome back to the Black Beauty TV. Yo, guys, so so many people have been waiting. Hey, when is the CEO going to say something about this uh David Jr. something? You know the problem going between David Jr., Uncle Mo, Carol, and all that. So Uncle Mo, David, uh, Carol, um, uh, and of course, <laughs> our king, Maru, all of them. Are in my carbon today. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska, fire burn them. Anyway, guys, I ne you know, I never even wanted to do this case. I never I wanted them to judge this case on their own. But you know now, as CEO, eh? As CEO of the Lazy Gang, I also have to give my people eh, my own, you know, my own understanding or point of view in this issue. Anyway, guys, yes, I don't want to go back because you guys all know what is going on between Carol and Uncle Mo, David Jr. So for me, I want to go forward and tell you guys, this is the way me, I feel. This is the way I feel things should have just, you know, things would have been like very smoothly if they have done it the way they are supposed to do. <laughs> but you know what? In what I go, we are, that is why we are humans and we make a lot of mistakes anyway guys yes about the money issue sending and sending the money back mm -hmm. i want to say that they all these three parties they have their own you know they have to contribute they contributed in what is going on i don't see the way or the fact that people are putting it on carol alone carol has her own which i'm going to say it here you know um the woman who sent the money has her own and Uncle Mo, of course. But let's start from the woman who sent the money. You know, yes, you sent the money to someone. You wanted someone to buy something that is good. I like the way she did it. Because at the end of the day, she's not the one to use that toilet. But she tried her possible best to see that this guy bought the best. But I think if it was like that, she should have called the, uh, them to confirm, okay, how far, what happened? But you contacted Carol. Okay, it's also good because you want to confirm because Carol is in Kenya. You want to know how is this thing costing in Kenya and all that. You should have asked Carol, but you guys should have hold on, you know, and do investigation before you go into everything. Okay, that's the mistake. I said, we all make mistakes as human and the mistake for me that carol make is you know like saying you know that it's costing like that in kenya but i don't really blame you at the end of the day you are talking based on where you are living which is in nairobi but at least we should have known that did night you can't compare maybe things the way they cost in nairobi and the way they are cost the the, the cost in ishibania because maybe these things you know are being brought from nairobi to be sold, you know, in Ishibania. Definitely, they will add their transport, their everything that they brought those things to Ishibania. That is the way I see it. So, every city, every country, everywhere function differently. The way the things cost in Nairobi might not be the same in Ishibania. Okay, that is by the way. Where is my own problem with Uncle Bo? <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska, fire burn them. If you remember, guys, I always tell people, I always, and if you're watching the Black Beauty now, please just take that thing and put it in your head. I always tell these people, I always tell my people, I always tell people, but nobody takes me serious. But if you're watching the Black Beauty today, you have to know that there is no thing, nothing in this world that is free. <laughs> there is nothing that is free if you are laughing oh people are giving me donation for free and all that yes they are giving you this donation out of their free will but do you know something <laughs> there's something behind because if they give you this donation you see like you are getting free money but in the other hand you have to pay for it because this money did not just come like it comes money like that it has a lot of other baggages that follows with if people give you things free, you also have to get ready to face the things that 
come along with those gifts. And that is why I always tell people, if there is opportunity in this world, I know that some people, there is no how. You cannot do it on your own. You need help from people. But for you, Uncle Mo, returning that money to that woman was very wrong. I have to say, it. That's, that's the way me, I see it. Because at the end of the day, how do you think this woman is going to feel? Because she gave you... How, okay, let me ask you something, Uncle Mo. Your house without donations, without people being contributed, you know, giving you free money, as you see it as it's free. Without these people donating money to you, you wouldn't be having this beautiful house today. So you don't just think that everybody is going to be positive about you. Learn how internet function. Learn how social media function. Not everybody is going to be, you know, everything. Oh, Uncle Moise, we love you, yes. But there are other, they say, thousand love, thousand dozen love. Don't expect that everything is going to be positive, positive, positive about you. I was so disappointed seeing him very angrily taking that money back to Ishibania to send back to that woman. For me, that is disrespectful. Because at the end of the day, the woman gave you, you came back, you told her, this is how it cost. You wanted another one. You come, you want to collect 8,000 extra, which you should have even used other donations to add and buy that thing. And you are gone. And nobody will say tomorrow, oh, he lied or he want to collect more money from somebody. You understand? If you are collecting money from people for free, even all this super chat and all that that people give us sometimes, if something happens, maybe tomorrow, they will say, oh, after I used to even give her super chat. You see? So I will not now come and say, oh, I want to start giving you. Yeah, have you given me super chat? Come and collect your money for that. That is for me childishness. You understand? That somebody gives you money from the U.S. or from where I don't want to know. And then misunderstanding enter. You cannot even, like, cool yourself. After watching that Carol's video, you run, go and do live stream and start running to return the money back. I know you have your right to give that money back if you don't want, like the woman talk, but it is something, if now that you build all your house, even the things, furnitures and all that you bought into that house, they are all donations. If people start to talk, that, oh, I give Uncle Mo, are you going to sell the house or are you going to take all the properties, sell them and start returning? Can you return all the donations people give you? That is where I see it like it is being, you know, you are not thankful to God. Because through these donations, God has blessed you a lot. If it is not because of social media, YouTube, you didn't know in your life if you will get a house so beautiful, furnished and all that. You never dreamed that you will ever have that. And now you got it. And only one misunderstanding. Nobody has ever come out to say, oh, I give more money and they do like this, you know. But this only one time, one time that thing happened, you should have endured it. That's the way me, the Black Beauty TV, I see it. Get angry. It's okay. You are human. It's normal. But you going back to return that money, I was so disappointed in you. It, it makes people, you don't know that, people that will want to donate to you tomorrow, they will feel somehow, they will feel like if something happens, is he going to return back the money to me? There are things in this world that we're supposed to act maturely. You are not supposed, Uncle Mo, to return that money back. It's very, very bad behavior. You know, it is something that two of you, or with Carol and all that, Carol would have even come back. Maybe if you, three, if you have met this woman, talk about it. Come and say, okay, it is not like that. And main video of Carol, he was about David Jr. come out. And I begin to ask myself, oh, David is enjoying. David is relaxing, going around Nairobi with Stella. While your uncle is facing things on the street of Whitey, why don't you come out? To explain this thing, David. Why didn't you say even a word 
about what is going on because at the end of the day you are the one that has been collecting all these donations most of the uncle more donations i don't think uncle more get them direct to him they pass through david you know so and i heard some people if you talk like this you say oh david why did you do like this they also oh after all david helped uncle more a lot yes david helped uncle more nobody is against it nobody is saying no he helped uncle more but Uncle Mo, through Uncle Mo, David had made a lot of money. Let's say all the videos that David made in Uncle Mo's house. Maybe you guys don't know. Gosses, we know how, how far people make in this white thing. Don't be surprised. All the videos that David made with Uncle Mo, with the donations and super chatter for him, not even the ones for Uncle Mo, is maybe more than $10,000. So at the end of the day, he did not work for Uncle Mo free. Both of them helped themselves. The videos alone David made in Uncle Mo's house is enough money. Because if I don't think if he was making that lot of money, he would stay and be making video every day like this. How many videos this guy dropped about Uncle Mo? Eh? I wanted to talk. Imagine Uncle Mo is doing opening of his house. He's dancing like a caricature. You know, you guys don't like the truth. When people want to talk the truth, you guys want to always overlook it. Just because you love someone, you don't want people to, like, you know, say things that people see. Look at how Uncle Mo was dancing. I know he was happy. You know, he was happy that, yes, his house is going to be open. He has gotten a beautiful house. But is, was that video on his channel? The way he was dressed, like, you know, like, uh, I don't know, playing this thing and dressing and dancing. It was on David's channel. The old, that day, David posted to, he did live and he posted video. Posting video showing Uncle Mo, how, how Uncle Mo is entering the house. And that dance video that Uncle Mo finishes his house. Which, these two videos were supposed to be on Uncle Mo's channel, but they were on David's channel. Is it David's house? You see? You guys don't like to hear the truth. That is the way I see it. I just wanted to like say something about this. And David come out and don't let your uncle be the only one. Because at the, maybe he don't even know how to explain all these things to people. So come out and tell people. Don't be walking around the street of Nairobi. And there is fire in your house. That's by the way. That's what I wanted to talk about this David. Anyway guys. Let's go back to my... <laughs> Let's go back to my niche on YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. There is no day I can live. I don't think I can live without this guy. I don't think I can live without the king of Yabohanze in New York or in... Uh, uh, where is he now? In Maryland or where? DC or where in America now? I can't live without this guy. Every day. I just have a lot of things to talk about this guy. Because, you know, in life, in life. Anyway, guys, before we even continue, let's watch what he is saying. And then, you know, I will always analyze it for you guys in my own way, the way I understand it. Okay? Let's go. They don't see behind the scenes. Like, they don't yeah. actually, they're not seeing the hours spent working yes. on editing personally, they're not seeing this yes. footage you lost yes. personally, and then had to reshoot i call them lazy because for sex you know people say that guy is very lucky or something mm -hmm. me i don't believe in luck mm -hmm. but i believe the the amount of proportion of work you put the proportion of work you put in anything mm -hmm. it's the amount of luck you get in life mm -hmm. so the more you keep Please uh, donate some five more dollars and tell me where it is because I will be able to see your comments easily. You know, when you donate, uh, it may sound like I just want money from you guys, but it's, it's when you donate, your, your comment pops. So I have to read it. And it's also my policy. If somebody donates to my channel, I read their comment right away. Yes, because they are just supporting me 100%. I'm not saying others are not. Hey, sir. I don't want to deny the fact that this interview I watch it and I enjoy too but I always tell you guys that I will always take my negative part you see these two clips I, 
I played right down for you guys. The one, Marwa is saying people are lazy, they don't work hard, and the one he's begging people to donate five five dollars. <laughs> Jai, you know what? Sometimes if I listen to this guy and people around him that talk to him and listen to him, I see this girl Lauren. Like Lauren is intelligent, Lauren knows what she's doing, but along the way, I feel like these people, they only accept what Marwa is saying just because they want to build their channel. I didn't go to school, but you must not go to school in order to be intelligent. There is something that this guy said in that video that I asked myself, I said, is this guy normal? He said that he did not believe in like you are lucky or you in luck, like he believes now what he's trying to tell us that everything he has, it is by his own hard work that he, he get those things. He believes that people that are not making it, people that are not getting all this money, people that are not making it on YouTube, is because they are not working hard. Marwa, you, you don't have sense. Honestly speaking, I enjoy the interview, but I have to take my the, the, the things that I want from that your mouth or to see how you talk. How can a person on earth say that he, no matter, even a president knows that he is lucky to be the president? Yes, hard work helps. I'm not saying that hard work doesn't help. It helps a lot. But there are so many things in life that we are lucky to have that. It's not that we are better than other people. But Marwa believed that he is better than other people. That is why. He got everything he's having. So, are you trying to tell me that the hard work you're doing, somebody that is squatting in somebody's house in America, somebody that sit down on, on, on computer and do live stream and tell people, please donate. And people were donating the five euros, 10 euros for them, for Marwa to see their comment. People were donating that money. Is that the hard work that you sit down and be talking, begging people to donate money for you? Because you know what I said that he is stupid. He is, in fact, I have never insulted you before, Marwa. But in this my video, I have to tell you that you are a moron. You know why? Because you you don't have any intelligence in your head. You must not go to school in this world to be intelligent. You have not, guys. I don't know whether it's only the Black Beauty TV. I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube, very beautiful videos, intelligent videos. Videos that if you watch like this, I will ask myself, God, why is this video not having views? Or how is it that people have not gotten, like they have not known, the people don't know this video. Wow, how comes? It's because that person is not lucky. The algorithm has not carried him. He's not lucky to be that popular, like for people to meet this video. Marwa, you go even in your village, you gather people to teach them how to bake online. That is, the, that is the hard work and you are telling us that you are hard work. You are hard work, oh, as you said. But we see a lot of hard working rich people. Even Mark Zuckerberg that have the whole of many, many things on internet. He don't come out to say he is hard, is his hard work. That He is also lucky. Because there are so many people that have tried a lot of things in this world but they didn't work. It's not that they are bad. It's not that they are uh, you know, it's not that they are not good in those things, but it's because they are luck. They were not lucky in that part. And you open your mouth and say, it is your hard work that pays you. Hard work that pays you that you travel to other country. Sit down. Eh? Sit down like this and do live stream and beg people to donate money for you. That is the hard work Marwa is doing to come out and tell us that he is hard working. That is why he got all he got that he don't believe he don't believe on like he he's lucky you are lucky let me tell you because at the end of the day what kind of content did you give do you give people when you are in your village every blessed day is all about your villa your villa your villa you make videos like one one hour more than one hour every day is all about your villa, your villa, your villa, your, something that people have watched and watched and watched, they will come back and watch. Are you not lucky? Are you not lucky? Let me ask you, is it not luck 
that you have because who goes to watch your villa every blessed day if not that you are lucky that people watch you you are lucky because maybe you start people discover you and they start watching you watching you just like that like they are used to read know that you are better than other youtubers know that you work hard more than other youtubers you don't you don't work hard more than them you know that if you want to see people that work hard on their channel, what about Wodemaya? Have you ever seen him coming to bake money online? Have you ever seen him coming to say, donate, donate five, five dollars? But you see the kind of brand that invite him to so many places. He don't even come out to say that, to brag. Because if people don't really understand, a loan for Wodemaya to go to all those companies in Africa, all over for, you know how much they pay him? To put those things in his channel and he will still make the money but have you ever come see him come to say he's better than he is also lucky he is also lucky to be in that position for people to know him recognize him and accept him it is part of the luck but for you to say that you, you don't believe in that one is has luck even i don't know how they write even exams in africa for example in germany now you will learn, learn, learn. Especially when they are doing these oral exams. They will just put different questions. You know, like they will turn them. You just come and pick your topic. Maybe you have learned almost everything. The topic that you did not touch. It is what you will go and take and go. You cannot say anything. It's not that because you are stupid that you failed that exam. But because it was not, you didn't have luck. That is the truth. Especially... Like when they are doing these oral exams in Germany. When you just pick a topic that you don't know, you have not even touched. You didn't even know that it will come out. You know? And you go and fuck. And you say you are, you do everything on your own. And this girl, the Lauren, is telling you, yes, yes, it's hard work. If the hard work is like that, why has she not make it like that on YouTube like you? If it is all about hard work. Because there are so many people I see, they work hard, they do a lot of things, you know, but at the end of the day, nothing. You are lucky, Marwa, to see people watch you because for me, I didn't see anything you do in your channel that can change somebody's life. I didn't see anything that you do in your channel that someone can learn. Is it the begging, begging? Now your village have turned to, to beggars just because that is the way you put them through. And now you have the ghost, you have the long mouth to come and be telling us online that people are lazy. See hardworking man. You are, are you not feeling cold? Uh, are, are you still, sorry, are you feeling cold that you are still wearing that jacket even in the house? He said it even in that video that people will say, oh, go and buy new jacket. So you watch our video and at the same time you will say, don't watch them, don't give them attention. This guy is making me every day. I'm so annoyed, in fact, today especially, for him saying that it is his hard work. Hard work for what that you sit down, not in your house. Eh? Do you know what hard work is? In Africa, you stay, you don't pay for water, you don't pay for anything. Now you come to somebody's house in the U.S., even to cook, is that Cameroon guy that is cooking for you? To cook alone, is this guy you are even calling him? Hey, hey, come. Come and show them what we cook. You sit down in somebody's house, do your live video for free. You bake money. You don't pay for bills or nothing. And you tell people that you work hard. Hard-working people. Hard-working people. Or how do I even put it? They come travel to New York. They will pay for a hotel that is even more than $10,000 maybe. You know, just for a day. They don't come out to tell us that they are not lucky. You think that you are the, you think God loves you or, I don't know, all you think. Do you think you are hardworking more than any other person in the world? No, you are not. You are lucky, Marwa. You are lucky to find yourself in the position you are now. You are even lucky that someone carry you like this, like that guy, keep you in America. It is luck. Come to Europe. Nobody can harbor you like this because we know how we struggle to pay our bills. Nobody can harbor you say, come and stay the whole time like this in my house. 
So you are lucky. It's not everybody that travels to America and sees somebody to stay for free. Are you not lucky? You are lucky. It is your luck. So don't come out here and tell us that. People see you like you are lucky, but you don't believe in that you are lucky. Guys, let's keep watching this man. Uh, what I'm saying that is I can see the story of my life. Just people, sometimes people see me right now and say, Maharo, that guy has traveled the world, he's building, he's doing this. And true, one day maybe I'll buy a helicopter. I, I really, I really want to buy a helicopter one day because mm -hmm. I built a house with a helipad. So I, you know, it yeah, yeah, sense. you want to use it more than like once. But it's it's not like I'm proving people wrong or proving people right. You're just doing what you want to do. I just want to do your own expression. Thing. Yes, because I believe. Hey, Chai, where are the donatos? <laughs> Where are the Donatos? Donatos, let Black Beauty TV will sit down here and tell you that <laughs> I don't believe in loco. As you are looking at me, donate, donate. <laughs> Can you donate for the Black Beauty to buy helicopter? <laughs> Guys, donate for me. I want to buy a helicopter. You see what he's saying? He want to. He believe one day he will buy helicopter. Is to buy helicopter is just to go and buy. A second car. That is how they buy it. <laughs> I beg, can somebody educate Marwa for us? We are not saying that you cannot buy helicopter. You can buy it. That you build a house. You say because you build that house, you can equally buy helicopter. If it is easy for people to buy helicopter, don't you think that even we will have our own helicopter that will be dropping us here? <laughs> Before you think of you want to buy a helicopter, babe, bros, when you go out with those people in America, just make sure that you are the one that you are buying everything for them. Make sure that nobody pays your bill in this world. Make sure that you pay. You know, some people that are helping this guy, I used to see them that they are stupid. Somebody will sit down like this online and tell you guys, I can do this. I can buy this. I can buy this. I can buy this. Eh? I can buy this. I can buy this. I can buy that. And the person that is giving him that $5, $20, you don't have way to even sleep. Me, I don't believe in doing things like that. I'm sorry to say this thing. I know so we I'm not saying that don't give somebody something. Give people that deserve that thing. Because you cannot tell me that somebody stays online to beg you money. To tell you people to donate. In the other hand, at the same time, the person will tell you that he can do that, he can do that, he can afford that. Then let the person do it with his own money. Do you know that how uncomfortable it is to live in somebody's house? But you travel as a rich man. I will always remind you, you are squatting in somebody's house in the U.S., and let me tell you, it's better for you to think twice and start knowing how you find your level. Because squatting with somebody for so long is even headache, it's sickness for that person already. And that is why I see, oh, some of them say, oh, let me even bring this one. That's why I told you, I say, I don't know who will enter Wagabon. Some people say, I saw a lot of things online. That people are saying, oh, see how they are talking. See how they are talking. Mayogno has bought land. Mayogno, Mayogno bought land. Amarwa said, Mayogno bought land over 3,000 uh, 3, euros. I don't want to say what is land of 3,000 euros. Can you buy land in other places? Okay, he bought land of 3,000 euros. Where did he get the 3,000 euros? From donations. People have, you know... We, people don't come online to be talking rubbish. Sometimes I, I like people when you do things with your money. You know, when you do things with your money, you should be proud that you make you work hard and you do this thing with yourself. But when people contribute to give you to do something and you come and be telling people, people that have struggled in this world, people have struggled with their own sweat, their own money. They have worked hard for that money to buy land. <laughs> People have worked land to buy land and build houses. They did not come out to, like, you know, show people that I do that. My you no buy land. 
from donation, you are telling people that they are jealous of him. How can somebody be jealous of somebody that you bought land? Even if you build house, are you the first person to buy land? Are you the first person to build a house? Because before he will even start building the house, he will still wait for people to give him donation to build the house. So if you want to tell us something, do it on your own. And then you come out and tell us and be proud of it. Know that when people give you, when you are a beggar, people support you. Now you a beggar. You want to tell your supporter that you are bigger than them now. Ah, no now. I know they tolerate that one. You make people to beg, 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 beg. Now, the beggars are taking over. <laughs> the beggars are now seen. This is, I don't know, you know this world, you know, this, the table is turning or how do I say, this world is a very bad place. Eh? The beggars are now making the, don the donatus to look like the donatus have nothing. The Donatus has become nothing in front of, in the presence of the beggars. This is what I call beggars with choice. Why people say that beggars got no choice. Now the beggars of Yabohanze are now turning their Donatus to be the stupid one. Because if somebody gives you money and gives you and donate money for you, you will not turn around to tell the people that you are bigger than them. You are making it. You know, it's, I don't understand. Anyway, guys, that is the video of today that I want to bring to you guys. So, me, I don't have anything. If you are a donor, you don't have money. You have money. You don't know what to do with the money. I beg, keep donating. But remember, remember, <laughs> now, Marwa will remember in America why people that he think they are living outside the country, they don't have money to build house. Because of bills, you see what they pay in America. If you are in the US, you are in America, you are in the diaspora, you are donating money for people to buy jets, to buy helicopters, and you don't have one bicycle in your house, then you are stupid. <laughs> it's just like you donate money for somebody. You give somebody money to make himself more rich while you got nothing. Be wise. It's good to give. God knows that I give people that really need that help. People that get, they have nothing. I give them that money. But somebody that want to make himself more rich and tell me that I am nothing, mm -mm, I will not give. Thank you. Have a wonderful Sunday. We will see you again tomorrow, Monday. Um, have a nice, nice day and begin your weekends with, uh, with the blessings. Just believe that any good thing that come across your ways, you know that you are lucky to get that thing and with your hard work and luck works hand in hand. Thank you and God bless you guys. Have a nice time. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. If you love the Black Beauty TV, kindly subscribe. Bye-bye. It's the Black Beauty TV.